Hey YouTubers, time for the 2014 year in review. I did one of these last year about this time for 2013 and um, I thought I would do another one. I don't know how interesting these things are to you guys, but if nothing else, um, it's something for me to kind of refer back to. And now my face starts itching because I'm talking to the camera. Uh, anyway, um, I thought I'd first go over just, just random stuff that, that's kind of gone on uh, in my life this year. I uh, just thought of another one. Uh, in no particular order, I had prints hung at a local salon and uh, that was uh, from the owner uh, calling or writing me an email and asking if we could do that and I did videos on that recently so that's probably not news to anybody. Um, I did get a photo in 5280 magazine, that's the Denver local uh, magazine and it was a it was a film shot and uh, it was only about that big so it didn't get a lot of screen space but it was part of an article on uh, classic hikes uh, in the area so it was cool to be in there and get a photo credit and all that good stuff um, I crossed a million views that's a pretty big deal I did a little short video on that um, so that was pretty great uh, I sold my 911, my Porsche 911, and I got a Boxster. That's a pretty big change, and uh, really enjoying that car. I was able to get it out last week for a few days. Here in Denver, we get kind of a mix of weather in the winter, and uh, it was nice enough to drive it three or four days last week, so uh, I got to do that. I didn't get to put the top down much, though. Uh, what else? Oh, this year has been a big year for audio, but but in the headphone space, and uh, you can tell that by uh, the videos that I've done during the year. And speaking of that, like I seem to always be doing, uh, I know that a lot of you guys uh, were here for the photo stuff at the beginning, and that has slowed down. I'm, I'm trying to include some along the way, but it's slowed down. I'm just not, like completely eaten up with it like I was the first two or three years of this channel and uh, so you know it's more like I still enjoy photography I do it um, I practice it in various ways but um, I'm not shooting as much I guess art photography you would call it as I used to and I keep thinking oh, I got to get back into it and then other things kind of get in the way right now I'm moonlighting uh, on a a job or two and uh, so those don't uh, for the last for the next month or so it's not going to leave me a lot of time anyway but uh, so uh, I'm blabbering um, hope to do more photo stuff I've, I've got some stuff I want to show you I was talking the other day about the Sony a7 mark II that I bought I'll be showing uh, bits about that I'm toying with the idea of just doing quick vlogs about it I don't know how interested you guys are in that versus me sitting down doing a formal review um, <clears throat> let me know what you think on that. Uh, so let's get into the stats. Uh, I just sort of listened to my other video a bit, and uh, sorry, I'm not looking at the camera much. I'm reading. Um, and when I at the end of 2013, I had 189 uh, videos on my channel, and I had uh, 2,200 subscribers, and uh, those numbers have changed decent amount. Let's see how many um, videos I have now. Uh, you would think that I'd be more prepped for this, but uh, that's me. Um, so in terms of number of videos, where do they hide this? I have 245, so I added quite a few videos, just not a whole lot of photography videos. Um, and last year about this time I had 2200 subscribers and I now have, what do I have? Uh, like I said, how prep, how prepared am I for this video? It remains to be seen. Uh, it's around here somewhere. Uh, 3,479 subscribers right now. Now the, the math doesn't perfectly add up. I'm going to switch to my analytics now. Uh, but uh, I'll have some numbers on what was actually added this year as opposed to just throwing out numbers from last year. Anyway, let's let's get into analytics. Uh, I always find this stuff pretty interesting. Um, in the last year, that is 2014, uh, I had 494,000 views and change. Um, that's up from the prior year where I think I had 400,000 views. Uh, actually, 
at the end of the prior year, I had a total of 400,000 views. In this year, I had 494,000 views. So it's a much bigger jump this year. Um, the prior year was, you know, the sum of all views uh, since that was my first yearly video. So uh, pretty big deal. That's awesome. I crossed uh, a million views. And uh, I know, I, as I said before, I'm totally small potatoes, but uh, for a small potatoes guy hitting a million views, that's awesome. I know there are plenty of people out there that hit a million views uh, per video. Uh, that will never be me. I'm not going to make a living at this. Uh, but a million, uh, crossing that, um, that boundary last year was a really cool thing. Um, a million and a half minutes watched. You guys just can't get enough of me. It's awesome. Uh, total estimated earnings, we won't talk about that, but uh, I've mentioned it before. Um, you know, once you get to a certain point on YouTube, they offer to make you a partner and, and you start getting some ad revenue. And that's, you know, it's nothing to sneeze at. It's a decent little amount. I could not retire on it. I couldn't even consider retiring on it. I couldn't even, you know, I'm not allowed to talk about numbers. It's, again, it's hobby money. Uh, that's the best way to put it. For me, it's it's hobby money. Still awesome. I didn't start this out to try to make money. Um, in terms of likes this year, uh, 2,362. Thank you. Dislikes, 91. And and those 91 all came on the haircut video, I'm sure, even though uh, I was only uh, watched uh, a few times. <laughs> that video was hated. Um, no, no more of that. I got the message. Uh, comments were down at 1,300 and change. Um, favorites, fewer favorites added this year. I think I know why. Uh, I, um, I'm not doing as much photography stuff, really. The photography stuff is very popular with my subscribers. Oddly, when we get down to the number one or the top videos, uh, you'll find that they are not necessarily the top, um, viewed videos that I have. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Um, and I added... 1,152 subscribers, which doesn't quite work. The, the math doesn't quite work. Not work. I'm not sure about that. But anyway, um, I've got close to 3,500 subscribers now, which is really cool. And, and thanks a lot, guys, for uh, sticking with me uh, as I flip from thing to thing. Uh, and I intend to just continue doing what I do, which is cover stuff that interests me. So uh, if you and I have the same stuff in, uh, in our interests, It'll work out. Okay, let's move on to top 10 videos. This is always really interesting to me. And uh, I didn't write down the ones from last year, but you know, I'll just go through these. Number one, and I think this was true last year. Number one, Seiko SKX007 and 009 Dive Watchers. That's my number one video, 51,000 views in uh, 2014. That's 153,000 minutes of watch content, watch porn. Uh, so the biggest earner, number one uh, um, video on my channel. Second, another watch, another watch thing. Um, the uh, my review of the oyster bracelet for the Seiko, and uh, just you know, uh, right behind uh, 33,000 views. Uh, now we get into stereo stuff. A demo and overview of my stereo system. Now, this was the iteration of my system that had the classic Yamaha gear in it um, and my, my old PSB speakers. And uh, that, that video just caught fire for whatever reason. I don't know if it got shared somewhere. And it, but I still get comments on it constantly. Uh, that had 31,000 views last year, um, equating to uh, about 84,000 minutes. Uh, didn't make a red cent off that one. Why? Because um, it has a Steely Dan tune in it. So uh, no earnings from that. Next, finally, photography stuff, which you guys are here for. Um, and, and this is really interesting to me because there's there's two items on this list uh, for this particular brand. It's the Fuji, D, the, the Fuji GW690 Mark III uh, overview and review that I did a few years ago. Uh, that had 18,000 and a half views. Uh, next, how to load a Hasselblad film back. You know, um, did I do that one this year? No, no, that's an older one. Um, that one needed to be done, even though there's a bunch of them. I, I felt like 
uh, the lighting and so forth and the sort of the angle needed to be done correctly from my point of view. So that one was next. That's uh, in the fifth position at uh, 15, 16,000 views basically. Um, the next one, a few medium format film cameras compared. That one last year I think was either at the top or close to the top. So it's fallen off and that's because, well, I don't know what it's because, but I'm just going to say it's because the audio is so bad in it. I'm still getting comments about the bad audio and people giving me suggestions on here's how you can make your audio better. Turn off autofocus. Yes. Um, I have autofocus on on purpose. Uh, I've said this in other videos. I'm going to say it now just in case somebody's listening uh, because I like to hold stuff close to the camera and have it focus on it. Uh, but the problem was the uh, in-camera microphone. It's picking up all the lens noise, and yeah, it's a pain in the ass. I never did that again. Uh, next, more photo stuff. Um, oh, the, the medium format film cameras was 13,000 and a half uh, views. The Think Tank Retrospective 7 comes up next with about 12,000 views. Um, next, another Fuji. The GA645ZI, the overview slash review I did of the Fuji. Again, a really, really, both of those cameras, really great cameras. Uh, and as I've said in some other videos, in case you haven't heard, I have more photos uh, printed from that camera than all of my other cameras, I'm pretty sure. Well, I, maybe that's not true anymore. Um, probably more from the Hasselblad, uh, one of the Hasselblads. I've had a few of them. Uh, those probably took over now. Uh, next, back to watches. Uh, oh, the, the Fuji GA645 had 9,000 views or so. Um, the Super Jubilee bracelet for the Seiko SKX007 and 009, that came in next, another watch thing. And bringing up the rear in the top 10 anyway is uh, Leica M versus Contax G Series. And so that was a video I did quite a while ago comparing sort of the features, feel, handling, etc. of those two rangefinder. Well, one's a rangefinder for sure. The other one is rangefinder-like, uh, those two cameras. So that was the top 10 videos for the last year. Moving on to demographics, um, you know, the U.S. is still tops um, with Canada and uh, looks like the U.K. Let me, let me get to the screen and get a little closer. Uh, U.S. and Canada and the U.K. kind of in, at the top. Yeah, United States. Actually, let me just... Why don't I just read the rankings instead of trying to interpret a map? Uh, United States, then UK, Germany, Canada, France. I'll just do the top 10. Italy, Australia, Japan. Am I to 10 yet? I'll stop with the Netherlands. So um, I get comments from people from all over the world. That is really, really cool to me. One of the coolest experiences I had a long time ago, really long, like in the... Uh, I guess it was the late 80s, I wrote a piece of software that calculated um, uh, sailboat performance. Um, uh, this is a displacement hull sailboat, it's not um, racing sailboats like, uh, uh, you know, uh, never mind. So it, it calculated some performance metrics for sailboats. And I, I wrote it for Windows and uh, put it out on, I think it was CompuServe. Yeah, it was, it was that long ago, CompuServe. A lot of you probably never even heard of it. Um, Man, that thing got downloaded and downloaded and downloaded. And I heard from people from all over the world. And it was the coolest thing. Uh, a lot of them were just complaining that I had used uh, English units or, you know, feet and, and so forth instead of the metric system. And I eventually put in code to, to convert one, one to the other. But um, it was a really neat experience. And it's the same thing here. You know, I make these videos and it's amazing to me that people uh, care what I have to say. Maybe they just watch for my beauty. Um, you know, uh, but at least some of it's for the content, I think. Um, but it's really cool to hear from you guys from all over the world. I love it. So um, that's the demographics uh, in terms of countries. Um, sorry, I'm rambling and rambling, probably losing everybody by now. I'm going to finish, though. Uh, gender, no big surprise, again, male 94%, female 6.2. Come on in, ladies. Uh, it's uh, not that surprising. Guys tend to be geeky about equipment, and I tend to do geeky videos about geeky equipment. So what can you do? 
Um, other stuff interesting here? Hmm, I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, yeah. This, uh, the other stuff here, if, in case you don't have videos and you don't see analytics, is uh, kind of where do people discover your videos from and uh, sort of what do they um, uh, play uh, the, the videos on and that sort of thing. So I believe that wraps it up. Um, actually, let's do this. Um, I wonder if I can see what the least interesting video was. Since I've talked about popular videos. Sorry, I'm having to scroll and it's refreshing the page. Um, I'll just I'll just say it was a haircut. It's at the bottom. You know, it was recent, so it didn't get many views. But we'll just call that one the worst, okay? I, you know, uh, I won't do that again. Um, so anyway, that uh, kind of ties it up. Um, again, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, stick with me. And uh, I promise to make interesting videos for some percentage of you, some percentage of the time. And uh, I'll just try to keep it up. So again, thanks a lot and I'll catch you later.